Hey y'all, welcome back to my home or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kelly Ann and today we have so much to do. We are getting everything done today. I'm knocking stuff off my to-do list. We are going to be running some errands. I'm going to be taking apart the girl's litter box and completely cleaning it. And I am also going to be tidying up the rest of our house as well as doing laundry and then sharing a yummy recipe but to get started, we're just getting started in the kitchen today and you'll see Drew running around because I needed to get started early so I could utilize his nap time to the most efficient amount of time. So when he's taking a nap, that's when we're gonna do the litter box and that takes place outside. So I couldn't do it while he was running around here. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get this kitchen clean. Thankfully, we are finally feeling back to normal. I have my energy back. I'm no longer weak and our appetites have returned as well. Drew's finally came back today. He had two bananas for breakfast. He is on a banana kick now, but I'm just so glad that we are feeling better whenever I'm sick. It just makes me so grateful for my good health when I'm healthy because it is something that I do tend to take for granted and nothing reminds you of how great it is to be healthy than when you're sick. So I am so thankful that we are finally healthy again. But one thing that I have learned from that stomach bug thing was just to go ahead and disinfect my kitchen counters and house as often as I can. So I ended up using the rest of my disinfectant while cleaning the island. So later in the video, we are going to stock back up on some disinfecting products. I recently picked up the shirt that I'm wearing from J. Crew, and if you catch a glimpse of it, you'll see that it has cats on it, and I had to get it because there's one fluffy cat towards the bottom, and it says his name is Mr. Snuggles, and my first cat ever when I was five was named Snuggles, but I believe she was female. We ended up having to get rid of her because A, she absolutely hated children. She was a Himalayan and I don't think Himalayans really like kids. And B, I'm actually allergic to cats, so I do take allergy medicine every day. But I remember like terrorizing that cat when I was a child trying to get it to play with me. I remember it'd be like hiding under my parents' bed and I'd be trying to climb under there to get it because I just wanted to play with it and didn't understand why the cat wouldn't want to play with me. But she got rehomed to an older woman and I'm sure she was much happier living out her days with an older person rather than me, a child who was just terrorizing her. Our fridge really needed to be cleaned out because while we were sick, a lot of our like fresh fruit and whatnot went bad. And then also I have not been grocery shopping in two weeks since we got sick. So we really needed to restock the pantry and fridge. And I wanted to have the fridge be nice and clean because I was planning on getting some new fresh stuff for Drew because he's been eating fruit like crazy, which I cannot complain about. But y'all saw our master closet makeover and these are some of the clothes that we are getting rid of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in a bag so Bill can go ahead and drop them off at Goodwill. I 
I cannot wait to decorate for spring and that's gonna be happening soon. I have so many cute spring decorations. It's just gonna be nice and light and florally in here. And then I found some of the cutest little like miniature animals. It's gonna be cute and fresh and I'm ready for some warmer weather. It was warm here like a few days ago and Bill and I went on a walk with Drew and it was great, but then later that night, I rubbed my eye and it got so swollen I had to get Bill to go and get me some Benadryl because we didn't have any at the house. But my eye was massive because I guess like I, pollen must be in the air here in the air here, and I think I must have gotten pollen in my eye and then when I rubbed it it just made it worse. But it was absolutely crazy. I looked like a monster. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do now I'm gonna go ahead and clean our sink and I'm just using some of this Barkeeper's Friend spray which I've really been using for a lot of stuff lately like on our stovetop and microwave as well. But it had been a while since I cleaned our sink so there was some stuff that was stuck on here but now it looks so much better. Drew is just running around like crazy and he is watching the Wiggles. I know a lot of people complain about like age two because of the tantrums and stuff but I think the like funness of it outweighs the tantrums like in the morning Drew loves to watch the wiggles and he sits there and he dances to it and it just makes me so happy he loves like the skinny marinka dink song like I love you whatever and then rockabye your bear as well he loves that song too I just love watching him dance I just think it's the cutest thing but now I'm gonna go ahead and remake his crib because he got sick on it again and you can see his mattress cover has taken a beating. There is a stain on there now, but it has done its job and it has saved his mattress too many times to count at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and just make up his crib because he will be taking a nap soon. And I've been having to keep his pajamas on until after his nap because he likes to take off his pants, which is a pain because then he wets the bed. So he has to sleep in his pajamas now, but now I'm going to go ahead and clear out the litter box. You don't see anything gross. Don't worry about that. You won't see anything that's going to gross you out. But I'm going to empty it so then I can go ahead and carry it downstairs. So now we're outside. It was such a pretty day this day. That's why I decided to go ahead and clean it out this day. It's been on my list for a while. And this is one of the tasks that I do dread just because it's sort of tedious. I have to unscrew. This is the globe part of it. And there's like eight screws in it that I have to take apart. But honestly, it gets easier every time I do this. I think this is the third or fourth time I've had to take this thing apart. I think you're only supposed to have to replace it like twice a year, but now I'm doing it like once a quarter because my girls like to pee on the rubber lining and not in the litter. So the rubber lining does not last as long because it will hold on to smells. And obviously I don't want my house smelling like a cat's litter box. And I, the last time that I filmed myself taking this thing apart, I was complaining that it wasn't working properly, but it turns out it was user error. And the last time I put it back together, I did it wrong. So I've had to go up there and like manually get it to spin. But now I was able to reassemble it the correct way and it is functioning correctly again. Sitting there by the phone, hoping you'll answer yours. Baby, let's talk until we're fine. You've been in bed for days. I had to use pitchers of water to rinse it off because our outside hose has been turned off because it does get super cold here. I live in the mountains of Western North Carolina and obviously we don't want our pipes busting. 
Bill thought that the hose had been turned back on, but it hadn't. And he was at some showings, so I didn't want to call him to ask him how to turn it back on. So it just took a little bit longer than usual not having the hose. But now I'm just replacing the lining. And as I said earlier, this gets easier every single time I do this. But once I am done with that, we're just going to go back up to the girls' room. I'm going to refill it with litter and I'm just making sure that it's working properly. I also got some like odor absorber things that I'm going to use. I picked one up from Pop Shelf, the Good Pure Joy ones from Pop Shelf. And then I got some of the other like ocean scented ones just from Target. I went ahead and made our bed and got rid of some of the water cups that were on my side table but now I'm just gonna fold a small load of laundry this is just my stuff from when Bill was out of town and Bill came back with a lot of laundry because he was gone for five days so I've been playing laundry catch up and you will see we got a new baby monitor over there on the side table and it has like a seven inch screen it's super nice and we got it because Bill was like there's no way I'm letting Drew sleep in the room when he had the stomach bug so I told him I was like well either we have to get a new nicer baby monitor or he's sleeping in our room so that's why we ended up getting that one and it is so sensitive to sound it is great that's what I needed we had a different baby monitor but it just the sound wasn't that great so it wasn't waking me up in the middle of the night so that one has been amazing Bill and I recently went and looked at a home for us. Unfortunately, it definitely was not the home for us. We thought it was a little bit too small and it needed, like every square inch needed renovating because it was built in the early 2000s and it's just never been renovated, but it was in the neighborhood that we want to be in. We've been keeping an eye on that neighborhood and we will go and see a house when it comes on the market if we think it might work for us. But hopefully one of these days the perfect home will pop up on the market. We had been under contract on a five bed, three bath house in our neighborhood, but there were just too many red flags with it. It was a new construction home and like stuff was duct taped together and we we're just like, nope sorry we are backing out so that home actually just closed this past week so it would have been like 18 months to build our cookie cutter home so we are going a different direction but hopefully one of these days the right home will finally pop up for us <laughs> So now Drew and I are loaded up in the car and I am going to go and run some errands and before I do that I'm just going to drop him off at his little play center so I can actually shop in peace and get stuff done. I was able to go to Target and Walmart while he was at his play center and I was checking out the Easter stuff. I got a lot of groceries but I did not get everything that I needed so I am going to end up having to go back to the store the next day. So first I'll do everything that I got from Target and they were running a special that was if you spend 50 bucks on like home products or cleaning products you get a $15 gift card so of course I took advantage of that and plus we ran out of like all of our disinfecting stuff when we had the stomach bug so i went ahead and got some more disinfecting wipes i love this centiva line 
Got the coconut and the grapefruit. And then this jasmine paper towel one smells super good as well. Also picked up some Everspring antibacterial cleaner and the lavender and bergamot. Don't know if I'm saying that right. More Clorox disinfectant. Got this small spaces thing for our bathroom upstairs that's next to the girls room. As well as I got some pink wisteria breeze air mist and it smells so good. More toilet wand refills. You know, I've been using the pink stuff, toilet bombs, and I saw these, so I figured I'd give these a try as well, and I needed more gloves after cleaning out the girls' um, litter box today. I picked up some of this acne wash because my skin has been breaking out like crazy, so now it's time to address the acne, <laughs> and then I needed more Ziploc bags. The favorite day little trail mixes were also on sale and we love these so I went ahead and got three of them. The peanut butter monster which I've never tried this one. Bill loves the s'mores trails mix and then I love the peanut butter chocolate trail mix. I love those um, like little wafer pieces in there. And then I got these cute little cookies for Drew. These were in the Easter section. Then a quick little lunch for Drew. Crustle sandwiches. And then since it is on a St. Patrick's Day, I got some Lucky Charms. And then I found these for Drew. They're gonna go in his Easter basket. He's gonna be super pumped about those. And then I picked up some Olipops. I'm trying to just drink a little bit healthier. And then these were in the dollar spot. I thought that these were so cute. So these are gonna go with my spring decor. And then I got Drew a new pair of shorts. We're gonna try these on, see how they fit because he needs some new shorts. So from Walmart, I got stuff to make dinner. Tonight I'm making sliders and this recipe actually came from the Walmart app. So it called for beef. I need some Hawaiian rolls, some onion, um, a block of cheese. And then tomorrow I'm also making a different Walmart recipe and I'm using mushrooms, chicken, and then I also needed eggs, not for the recipe. And I also needed chicken broth and chicken stock strawberries and bananas for Drew. I'm gonna be making some chicken salad, so I got some celery. Also got some vanilla snack packs. I needed some frozen bananas for my smoothies. Got some cottage cheese things. These are so good, I love those. They're like a high protein snack. Some applesauce for Drew. I needed more vanilla and more sugar cubes for my tea. I got some more milk. I got some coffee. I started drinking coffee again, but just a little bit. And then these broccoli florets are gonna be for dinner tomorrow night. The fries are going with our sliders tonight in the air fryer. Had to get more pizza for Drew. He is still obsessed with pizza. Got some more breakfast sandwiches for me, as well as these Jimmy Dean egg bites. I've never tried these. We'll see how they are. Had to get some allergy pills because my allergies have been killing me. Spring has sprung here and yesterday my eye swelled up so huge because I don't know what got in it. We went on a walk and my eye was just massive later that night. Got some Eggo waffles for Drew. We'll see if he likes those. Got him some cake pops, some snack mix. I love these Siete grain-free cinnamon chips. They're so good. And then I also got some jelly beans. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Aldi and see if I can get some more fresh stuff because their produce was not looking good at Walmart. And I'm also going to go to Whole Foods and get some more fresh stuff tomorrow as well.
So I'm gonna go ahead and start making dinner. I got this recipe off of the Walmart app. I don't know if you know this, but the Walmart app has recipes and it's so nice because you can click that you wanna make a recipe and it'll add the items to your cart for pickup. But obviously I went shopping in person, but these are cheeseburger sliders and I thought this would just be an easy meal. I completely read the recipe wrong though, so I made it wrong. It still turned out good, but I basically ended up having to do half of the recipe because, I mean, it's just me, Drew, and Bill. But I'm starting with the onion. You're actually not supposed to mix the onion and beef together, but what do you know, I did, and I put the garlic powder in there as well. When it was just supposed to be the beef and the garlic powder. I didn't measure out my garlic powder. I'm measuring from the heart. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just mix up our beef and onion. I also definitely think I used way too much onion, but what I'm doing is I'm just patting it down into the 9x9 pan, and then I'm adding some Worcestershire sauce, I hope I'm saying that the correct way, and I'm just going to spread it around with a spoon, and then it is going to go in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes, and I was so confused when I went to get it out because it had shrunk so much. It was like three-fourths the size that it was. So that's why I look so confused. But now I'm just going to go ahead and transfer it. Well, I'm transferring the like fat and juices out first, but then I will actually transfer the patty. And then what it says to do is you are supposed to cut your rolls in half. And this is supposed to make 12 sliders, well the four recipes, but since I'm just doing half, it's just going to make six sliders and you cut them in half and then you put the bottom bun in the pan and then you assemble your burger. So just put your patty back on there and then you're also, that's when you're supposed to put the onion on is after you put the patty on, but my onion is mixed in. And then I am gonna cut up some cheese and put that on top as well and pop it in the oven for another like 15 minutes. Bill just got home from work. He actually has an HOA meeting to go to because our neighborhood is about to be transferred to the homeowners because the builder is done with our neighborhood. I forgot to mention to put butter on top of the buns before you pop them back in the oven, but Bill was not able to eat this recipe because he hates onions. And I thought that he ate onion on his burgers, but he actually doesn't, so he went and got, I think, Chipotle this night. So I sort of felt bad because I know he was super hungry. But to go with our burgers, I am making some fries for me and Drew. I got the, like, fries that are supposed to be, like, fast food fries, so they didn't turn out as well as I hoped they would. But I don't know what I could have done to make it so the bread didn't stick on the bottom. Maybe put some butter on the bottom or something. I don't know. But like half of my bread stuck to the pan. But I think overall this recipe turned out pretty good. And it was super easy. And didn't take too long. So if you want burgers at home, this is an option if you don't want to make burgers on the grill.
Lately, I've been eating with Drew at his little table that my mother-in-law got him for his second birthday. But as you can see, Drew is a big ketchup fan. He was loving these french fries. They didn't turn out as crispy as I hoped they would. But he didn't even touch the burger because he's not the biggest meat person, especially beef. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video.